Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your August love reading. I'm going to get the overall energy for you. And then I'm going to take a look at you first. And I'm going to look at you, relationships in your life, uh, money, anything else Spirit wants you to know. And then I'll do a separate reading where I look at maybe possibility of love coming towards you. That may not resonate with the first. There'll be two separate readings. Um, and sometimes they collide. I will do advice from... Uh, spirit and Aries through Pisces. So this is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please set the intention to only receive what it is you're meant to hear and leave the rest for the millions of other Pisces that are out there that might be going through a situation that we need to, you know, let it be for them. All right. So like and subscribe and show me some love. Let's go, Pisces. Pisces, how are you doing? How are these transits affecting you? Let me know. You know, how are you feeling lately? Where are you at? All right, the Hierophant. Coming into alignment with your values and truths and beliefs. Justice card. All right, it's an energy of commitment. Divine love. Maybe coming into alignment with somebody. Are you focused on um, what what your core beliefs and values are? Are you, are you lining up with people with the same core values and beliefs? The Hierophant shows a deepening of connections, but in order to do so, we got to have a deeper connection with ourselves, our true values. You know, you got to look at the people in your life, look at the things that you're doing in your life, and say to yourself, is this really what I want? Is this where I'm, what I truly desire? Or am I just settling? But we'll see. Justice will prevail. With that justice card at the bottom, justice will prevail. And whatever situation is going on in your life. So let's see you. You may be signing contracts. Whether it's a soul contract. Whether it's a personal contract. Whether it's leveling up. Graduating. Moving to the you know like the next level of a situation. Alright. We got the seven of wands. Defending yourself. Stepping up. Standing up. Grounding yourself. Demanding. You are demanding justice this, this month. Right, the mother card, the empress card, maybe justice, maybe defending yourself from your mother, maybe doing what your mom said to do, all right, or maybe just stepping up and being the empress, being the divine mother, you know, and, and knowing your worth. We got the essential here, making this, making decisions, making uh, sharp judgments that are best for you. I love this. This is standing in your power, nine of pentacles. This could be around work relations um, with friends too and people just knowing your worth knowing how much you give to people and it's about stepping up and only giving to people that who you know you're judging people better you're judging situations a lot better you've got the desire card here at the bottom of the deck coming into alignment more with what you truly desire and manifest and in success becoming very secure and confident in yourself this month i love this you're making better judgments and you're going to see abundance come your way. The universe gives you what you keep asking for or what you keep thinking about or what you, what you think you deserve. But when you start to change what it is you know you, and you know what you deserve and you start to expect more, you're seeing it come in for you. Something huge manifesting for you. Ace of Swords, a breakthrough, clarity, justice is being served. Some sort of communication, new beginning, clarity. Some way being cleared. You're clearing away the junk, clearing away the things that aren't in alignment with your values. You're, it's like you're knowing exactly what you want and you're staying focused. You're staying in alignment with your truth. That's amazing. That's beautiful. So happy August. <laughs> Let's see your love reading. All right, who might be coming towards you? Who might be coming towards you in love? Who might be coming towards my Pisces in love? Pisces. Could be an earthy energy, obviously. Taurus is showing up twice. Taurus Leo, Aquarius Scorpio is showing up. A lot of Earth, so Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Um, let's see. Who is coming towards you in love? Tell me about this person. 
You want somebody who's in high vibes, somebody who has the same shared values, somebody that you can deepen the connection with. You have options. You have a lot of choices. You got to make the right choices. But I feel like that goes back to this message here, Pisces, where it's like you are making better choices. You know your worth and you know your value. Um, so there's plenty of options for you in the month of August. You got the two of wands. Look at this, planning some dates here. or Somebody's planning on reaching out to you, getting out of their comfort zone. Six of Pentacles, their feelings, they care about you, they want to make an offer to you, they want to support this connection, they want to bring a balance, all right? How they view you, the Two of Pentacles, maybe you have a lot going on, um, you might be very busy, all right? This person wants to help out, give. You got the twos here. So this is somebody who wants to, to balance out a situation, Maybe they feel like they can help balance out a situation. They can bring harmony into your life. But they need to step out of their comfort zone and step up and give to this. But it looks as though they will with that two of wands and the six of pentacles. All right. We got the four of wands, their intentions to come together and build a strong foundation. Maybe reunite or just come into a union here and build something. You got a lot of cards here about towards marriage or building a future together. And their intentions and outcome is eight of cups, evolving, moving onward, closing the back, closing the past and moving forward, evolving. All right, we got the emperor card. So somebody wanting to build a strong foundation. Now you got the mother and the father, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So you're seeing a partnership. You may possibly be coming into alignment with the person that you're meant to be with this month coming in to build something strong for the future i mean it's going to take work you're at the two of wands somebody getting out of their comfort zone you know and equal give and take here making plans for the future the two of wands you might be just meeting this person getting to know this person i feel like you can trust this person with that herophon energy anything else the page of cups expect some uh, love messages or a message or an offer in August from somebody, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got Aries, Taurus, you know, and uh, a lot of a lot of Taurus. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy here. How do they feel? This may or may not resonate if you don't know this person. So let's see. Ooh. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again for somebody. So the two of wands can be anticipation. It can be somebody who needs to make contact with you, but they might be thinking, you know, and that's this eight of cups, letting go of the past and moving onward, moving forward. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. So let's see if there's any other messages from Spirit. And then I will do Aries through Pisces for you. For those of you who have somebody specific on your mind. Any other messages for my Pisces? All right. From death comes rebirth. Scorpio energy. So something may have ended or you've ended a way of thinking. You're valuing yourself more. And now we may have a rebirth of a situation. And again, at the bottom of the deck, we're getting an important end brings a new beginning. Right? And a break in dawn here. So all these cards are saying, you got, you know, I was going to add up the numbers here. You got fives, fours, and, and threes. Um, break in dawn, a new beginning here. Brand new beginning start of a new day so let's see um aries through pisces aries through pisces for my pisces aries through pisces Aries, I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Taurus, would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? Gemini, I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. 
Cancer, there's so much unspoken between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. Leo, I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Cancer, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. That is Virgo. Okay. Libra, the thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. And Scorpio, I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Scorpio is all over this reading too for you, Pisces. Sagittarius, my heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. And we have Capricorn. I hide my tr I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. Aquarius, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. And Pisces, I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine, Pisces. All right, guys, so only take what resonates. I also got, I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. So somebody is seriously interested in you. Um, and remember, you got the desire card. You're so close. I got a king of water here too, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Know your worth, the king, uh, the queen of earth here as well too, which is just like the mother card as well. So, all right, I love you guys. Take care and I will see you soon. 11, 11.